Tonight's breaking news, Nevada Republican Senator John Ensign is resigning from office effective May 3rd. That's a week from Tuesday. Senator Ensign had already announced he wouldn't seek re-election next year amid a Senate Ethics Committee probe into his affair with a former campaign aide, Cynthia Hampton. In 2009, Senator Ensign admitted the relationship and acknowledged helping Cynthia Hampton's husband, Doug, a member of his Senate staff, find lobbying work with with two Nevada companies. Senator Ensign's parents provided the Hamptons with $96,000, which was described simply as a gift. In a statement released a short time ago, Senator Ensign said, quote, while I stand behind my firm belief that I have not violated any law, rule, or standard of conduct of the Senate, and I have fought to prove this publicly, I will not continue to subject my family, my constituents, or the Senate to any further rounds of investigation, depositions, drawn out proceedings, or especially public hearings. For my family and me, this continued personal cost is simply too great. Joining me now, Washington Post editorial writer and MSNBC contributor Jonathan Capehart. Thanks for joining me tonight, Jonathan. Uh, thanks, Lawrence. Jonathan, normally when a senator under an ethics committee investigation mm -hmm. takes the action of resigning, of leaving the Senate before that investigation is concluded, before going to hearings, it means that the ethics committee has made it clear to the senator, the senator's lawyer, that they will be recommending expulsion. Uh, that's exactly what happened the last time we saw this was Senator Bob Packwood. He mm -hmm. was informed that he would be, that they would recommend expulsion. The, ex the, the, expel, the vote to expel would probably be successful, and so he got out. Uh, this, is there any indication, is there any reporting tonight indicating that the Ethics Committee had been moving toward expulsion and had let Senator Ensign know that their position was going to be to expel him? Uh, nothing that I've seen so far, Lawrence, but I don't think that that's, um, you know, outside the realm of the possible. By resigning, what Senator Ensign has done is basically cut short whatever investigation the Senate Ethics Committee had, because once the, the senator resigns, all, I mean, it's at, it, his action uh, as a sitting senator. Once that senator goes, the Ethics Committee no longer has jurisdiction. And as Senator Ensign says in his letter, his resignation letter, um, you know, he's been cleared by the Justice Department, um, or this should say the Justice Department hasn't found hi, uh, any wrongdoing. Um, but also he was investi investigated by the Federal Elections Commission. Um, you know, he had probes up and down his conduct of w what he did in this affair with the campaign staffer who was married to someone on his Senate staff. And, you know, I just wrote a piece asking what took him so long. I mean, he announced in March that he wasn't going to run for re-election, and it couldn't possibly be a crisis of conscience that he decided suddenly that he didn't want to be in the Senate. You know, I, I ran into Senator Ensign a few weeks ago in the Senate, and, and, and he seemed... Uh, pardon the expression, quite resigned to a life without the Senate and actually looking forward to it. He said he wasn't sure what he was going to do. Uh, but I certainly got no hint uh, in my short chat with him that uh, a resignation like this might be coming. Now, uh, mm -hmm. to fill the seat that becomes open on May 3rd, right. uh, what is the Nevada process? Does the governor appoint? Yes, the governor appoints. In the Constitution, the Constitution says if, say, a, a member of the House were to resign, a special election must be called. That is in the Constitution. What's not in the Constitution is what happens when a senator resigns. And right now, the way it is, um, and it depends state by state how they do it, but the senator, I'm sorry, I'm sorry the governor appoints someone to fill that Senate seat. And um, sometimes it could be until a special election, sometimes it could be until the end of the term and then that person would have to run. But what this sets up in Nevada is a, is a chain reaction. So Governor Brian Sandoval, who is the new governor of, of Nevada, is a Republican. He is expected to appoint uh, Congressman Dean Heller, who is a Republican. Sharon Engel has already announced that she was going to run to fill Congressman Heller's seat because he had already announced that he was going to run um, for the nomination for Ensign's seat. So there'll be a special election for his seat, and then Heller would step into Ensign's seat if Sandoval follows through and does that, which would give um, Congressman Heller a leg up in the 2012 election. He has a Democratic opponent uh, who has already announced Congress, Congresswoman Shelley Berkeley, 
um, in, in Nevada who has said that she wants to run for Ensign's seat. So what ends up happening now because of Ensign's resignation, the governor gets to appoint Ensign's successor. That's going to be a Republican, most likely Republican, um, Congressman Dean Heller. Uh, and um, the Democrat who has already announced that she was going to run for the race, Congresswoman um, Berkeley, is now finding herself running against, presumably, an incumbent in 2012 instead of an open seat. Uh, Jonathan, as you as you just took us through the dominoes falling there, uh, I, I'm, my mind is reeling back now to realize that it is Senator Ensign who has been saving us from a possible Congresswoman Sharon Engel in the opening up of this seat? If, if, the, if they, uh, in effect, promote uh, the Congressman, Sharon Engel will actually be the first one in, in a campaign there. Right. She, she has already announced um, that she was going to run for that seat in anticipation of, of, of something like this happening. She still has to run. Now, remember, she lost to uh, Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid for, for uh, the, the Majority Leader Senate seat. So it's maybe she'll have better luck in a smaller pool of voters <laughs> instead of the entire state and getting into the halls of Congress. And how much harm can she do in the House of Representatives, right? <laughs> That's what the, the voters of that district will be asking themselves as they right. watch Michelle Bachman, uh, you know, prancing through there every day. Washington Post editorial writer and MSNBC contributor Jonathan Capehart, thank you very much for joining us on Thanks, this breaking Lawrence. news story. Thank